Now I'm going to show you how to create a question bank. So question banks are going to be really useful so that you can save your questions and reuse them and also share them with departments or groups that you're a part of. Question banks are actually created in the resource section of Schoology. So they're not done within any particular course or with any particular um, test or quiz. So what I would do is go to resources and you can create a question bank in your personal resources for only you to have access to by what you would do is click right up here where it says add resources you'll see that one of the options here is to add a question bank you can also do this in group resources so for instance if i created a group let's say for my department or for a team of teachers to use maybe maybe i teach earth science and this is a group that i've created with just the um, earth science teachers, I would choose the group that I'm a member of. Um, I'll put this in our resource teachers group and you would add a question bank here and this would give everyone access to use and create tests and quizzes from questions within this bank. So to create a question bank you're going to first name your bank and it's important to kind of think about how you're going to set up a question bank. It's not necessarily a good idea to have a question bank that just says, let's say, earth science and then has questions with every single unit of earth from the earth science course within it because it'll be hard for you to choose questions that you want to use on particular tests and quizzes. So I suggest that you create question banks based on topics. So for instance, this might be earth science unit one and then you can add a description here if you want to you can enable question tracking and if you read this what it says is questions in the bank will be tracked each time they're added to a test or quiz and it will also um, give you some you know details and statistics about your questions and how often they're used and how are students doing on the questions and things like that. If you want to enable question tracking, you need to do it initially at the beginning of the unit because if you enable it afterwards, it's only going to start tracking questions that have been added after you've checked this box. So I'm just going to say create here and leave enable question tracking checked. Okay, so now I have Earth Science Unit 1, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this, and then from here I can start adding questions, and this looks very similar to the test question feature. So maybe I will add a true-false question here, and I will say question banks can be shared with groups or departments, true or false. Well, the answer to that question is true, so I'm going to say create question. Okay, so now within this question bank, I already have one question. If I click over here, I can go and edit this, or I can copy my question to, an, to another question bank if I'd like to, or I can delete it. Under the options, you can also reorder questions within a bank. Um, you can disable the question tracking, which we had enabled by checking that box, or you can apply learning objectives to questions, which we are not really talking about in this section. But as I continue to add questions here, all of everything within this question to bank will be available to everybody within my group. If I want to also change this and add it to a personal question bank, I can go ahead and do that as well. Now I can continue to just add questions to my question bank by typing them in. Um, this is where it becomes really nice to have um, shared question banks because different members from your department, every time they create a question, they can add it to the particular question banks unit and then you can all use the questions. You can also go within your courses. So if I go back to my Schoology course and I find a test or quiz that I've already created. So for instance, maybe I've already created um, a unit one test. I can take this test that I've already created and I can save this 
well, actually, I can save it to my resources, which is the entire test if I want to use that exact test again. But if I want to use the questions from within the test and add them to a specific question bank, what I can do is open up the test or quiz. These are the questions that are part of um, this particular quiz that I created. And so under options, what I'm going to say is add these questions to a question bank. And it's going to take, if I choose this option from up at this main options menu, it's going to take all the questions that are part of this test or quiz and add them to the bank. So then it's going to ask me, well, which questions do you, you know, what, what bank do you want to add them to? So I want to add all of three of the questions, first of all. So you can check or uncheck any questions you don't want to go. And now I'm going to choose which question bank I want them to be saved in. So I'm going to select the bank and I am going to say, I believe my question bank is shared by others. So it's under resource teachers and Mary and it's earth science unit one. And I'm going to say, add these questions. You can also add individual questions by clicking on the gear icon to the right of each question and you can say add to a bank here. And this will add the individual questions into whichever bank you want them to go into. Okay, so now if I go back up to my resources and I go into my group, which was my resource teachers group, and here was the question bank and I can kind of tell by the icon because it has one of those puzzle pieces which is an icon um, which has to do with questions. I can click on this now and notice that all of the questions that I just added are now within this bank. Now I'm going to create a test or quiz and import questions from a question bank to show you how that works. So if I was now to create a new test or quiz and I'm going to say unit one test with questions from bank. Okay, I can add a due date. I have to have a category. I'm going to say this is a test and no comments. And I'm going to say create. So now when I click on add a question, one of the options that I'm going to have is questions from banks. So I can choose to either add individual questions or I can actually use random questions as well. If I chose random questions, what I could do is I could say, okay, first of all, which, where do I want, which bank do I want? So I'm going to go to the group where I created the question bank and here it is in Earth Science Unit 1 question bank. And what I can say is um, I'm going to select, um, Okay, so what I'm going to actually do is go back. I was in here and I'm going to actually go back to my group here because if I want to add random questions, I'm going to choose this question bank and say, yes, this is the bank that I want to um, do random questions from. And there's a total of six questions in this bank and maybe I want three random questions. When you do random questions, each student might get different questions on their test. Um, so keep that in mind. It's going to randomly pull them. And I would say how many points per question. I'll just say one. So now it says that in this particular test, I'm using these three questions randomly picked from this question bank. If I want to add a specific question from the question bank, I would choose individual questions. Again, I'm going to choose the question bank that I created, which is in my group. And this is where I'm going to actually quick click on it and I'm going to choose which questions I want to add and you can select more than one and you can determine right now if you how many points you want them to be. So I think initially I had said that each question was worth one point, but maybe on this particular quiz, I want them each to be worth 10. So I'll say 10 and I'll add those questions as well. And so now I'm starting to build my test or quiz using questions that have already been imported and inserted into a question bank. So anything that you create from within tests and the tests and quiz section, you can add any of those questions to question banks. You can also import 
um, questions into question banks from programs like exam view um, also some Microsoft Word questions you can do that and we're working on some other um, online subscriptions that allow us to do this as well however keep in mind that if you use the assessment section which we, if you remember um, a, you can either add a test or quiz or an assessment well with assessment still being in beta version you cannot actually take anything from the assessment section at this time and add it to a question bank and so this becomes you can save it to resources but there's no option to save these questions into a bank so this is a kind of a limitation that they currently have on this assessment section which is still in the beta testing mode which is why when you're creating assessments right now it's fun to, to know about the assessment feature and you may use it for specific questions but just keep in mind that those questions at this time cannot be added to a question bank you could however take any assessment that you wanted and save it to your course resources so that you could use it again but you would have to use the assessment exactly as you typed it you wouldn't be able to just pick random questions to use. Okay, now we're going to allow you to kind of practice creating a question bank and adding some questions that you've already created when you created tests and quizzes and adding them into a question bank.